it's Tybug and welcome to my channel and if you want to learn how to do this cute little Cupid Valentine's Day character ish look stay tuned now we will get started and I'm gonna be trying this Anastasia Anastasia whatever eye primer I got it as like a little prize sample thing at Sephora so I don't really know how this will turn out so um how are y'all doing I have not been doing that great <laughs> just stressed and stuff but you know what that's what life is but I figured let's do some makeup because that will make me feel better about my skin and about it's kind of therapeutic doing makeup you know Per usual, I have nothing planned out, really. I just looked at some pictures on Pinterest to uh, get an idea. I saw the wings. I have no idea who to credit that to. But if you guys have any idea who to, oh my god, <laughs> to credit that to, put it down in the comments and I'll add it to the description. This is a lot thicker than I'm used to. And then for the hearts on the, like the cheek and stuff, I saw that um, Nikita Dragon did it uh, like a year ago. So I guess I'll just give credit to her. I don't know if she gave credit to anyone else, but that's what we'll do for now. I didn't even watch her video. I just saw that she did something like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe palette and I'm gonna take this little fluffy Sephora cream dirty brush, <laughs> cream shadow brush, and just kind of wipe it off on my forearm. And then I'm gonna take this um, very light pale pink that kind of matches my dress, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid as like a base color. And I'm gonna go in with this um, neon pink color and pat that in towards the corner. Let's see, oh, okay, let me just stamp it on. I see beauty gurus use the term stamp a lot, so that's what we'll do. We'll stamp it and then we'll buff it out. Cause you know what? You're not gonna pay attention to the eyeshadow all that much cause you're gonna see the wing and be like, oh my God, the wing. And then the eyeshadow will kind of just be in the background. So recently I made a TikTok and <laughs> I've been addicted. I did uh, some movie reviews for the Oscars on it because the Oscars are actually on right now and I'm missing it to film for you guys. You're welcome. And I've done some dances because I really like dancing and the TikTok dances are just so cute and fun. And I've done some, what else have I done? I started gardening again. And then just like some humor stuff. So if you guys want to go follow me on TikTok, it's Thai bug, but I think with two T's or two G's. I don't know, but it's gonna be down in the description. And um, I also started a new, uh, hold on, I have to think, cause I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I started a new uh, Instagram page for my YouTube channel specifically. So like you guys can talk to me there and DM me and like, it's more accessible than I think uh, YouTube comments are sometimes because you gotta go into YouTube and do it and you can't really respond right away on YouTube comments um, on your phone. So I think the the page will just be a lot more accessible and fun. So it'll be like more right away so you guys can like request videos or uh, just check in because I'll be doing like updates like I'm currently filming or what else do people do on <laughs> Instagram? But just fun little update stuff. And I always had so many screenshots from my videos that I thought were hilarious. And I always wanted people to just like comment a caption for it or something. So I'll also be putting like all my fun screenshots there. And you guys can send me stuff because the DMs will for sure be open. I'm going to be taking this like plummy pink that's right above the purples. And I'm going to put that, yeah, right there. I really have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is looking so one dimensional. Like the other pink, the light pink doesn't really show up. 
and then the dark pink just kind of blends in. People online make their makeup look so good. And then there's me also online, but not looking good. It's not fair, because I know y'all are using Photoshop. But I don't know how to Photoshop makeup. I just decided to say screw the eyeshadow and get started on the eyeliner. So what I did is a basic cat eye to here, and then I went up and out. Because you know how wings, they kind of like have the, the curvy part and then the flat part. You get it, kind of? So I'm using this NYX Epic Wear Waterproof White Eyeliner. It looks good on camera, but in person it kind of looks splotchy. So depends on what you want it for, if you want it for person or if you want it for camera. It's up to you, but that's just my opinion on it right now. It's also making my eyelashes white, which is a look, to be honest. But let's try and make some wings now, like some angel wings, but Cupid. So I have no reference photo around me, so let's just wing it. <laughs> Wait, should I do the blush first? Since, because the wings will be going into the blush area. Then I'll have to do the other eye. Okay, it's kind of cool to do. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I will do the stupid eyeshadow on the other eye. Maybe I'll figure something out better. I don't, I don't think so. But, because, yeah, I, well, whatever. <laughs> and then I'll do the basic white line, and then I'll do the blush, then I'll do the wings. Okay, planning it out. This is why you should plan beforehand, but what fun is that? Mm -hmm. Ta-da. Kind of looks like I have a lazy eye. But what I kind of figured out what to do is um, just to stamp the color on instead of uh, brushing it because brushing it just kind of made it disappear. And I don't have time to build in it up. And if you're doing this before a date or like an event or I don't know, you guys want to go to Comic Con or something with Cupid's makeup, none of my business. Whatever you're doing, you don't want to spend hours on it because this is going to take long enough as it is. So now I have these uh, stickers from Target and I'm going to cheat a little. And you don't want it to be too symmetrical because then it'll look too planned. You just want it to be like, oh look, I have hearts on my face. Ha 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 ha. That's the other thing about TikTok. Sorry, this is like bouncing back and forth everywhere. So this is kind of hard to follow. This is just how my brain works, man. Like... It's hard for me to follow. <laughs> but yes, I've had a lot of uh, TikTok songs stuck in my head. And let me tell you, it's not fun. Because then you'll start singing them and everyone else will be like, oh, TikTok. And you're like, yeah. And they'll be like, you want to film a TikTok? And you're like, I mean, no thank you. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now for the blush. This will be fun. So I have two Buxom blushes and then my uh, Fenty Beauty. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. My Fenty Beauty uh, Island Kilowatt Foil in Sangria Sunset that I'll use to like oomph it. So I think I'm gonna start with um, the Dolly shade like on the outsides because that's more of like a redder shade. And then I'll do the peachy shade, which is um, Mykonos towards the center. And I'll also be doing a little bit on forehead, a little bit on chin to um, tie it all together. Ya feel? Ya feel. Lego. I haven't been getting a whole bunch of sleep, so if that's, if like it's like kind of weird, my speech, deal with it. And I'm just stamping the color on, cause you know, we got that tanner skin, so it takes a little bit longer for it to show up. Also, it's in the lighting, I think. Because the lighting makes it look like you're not doing a whole bunch. And then you like go out into the daylight and be like, Oh my god. Is that what I was looking like? But if you're going out to a night thing, go ham. If you're going on stage, ah, go ham. I love stage makeup because nobody can tell if you've done it over. Like, In fact, they need it to be overboard. Because then it gets the audience's attention. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with the, I'll do a little bit on the nose too, just to 
have it all tied together. Okay, now for, I use this shade like every day, the Mykonos shade. I love it. Just a little bit on the chin. And if your chest is exposed like mine, you can just go. Oh. Yes, it's a natural blush. My body just blushes. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my and just like, I don't know, have fun. Yes, contour with blush. Okay, and now I'll just like kind of emphasize the borders on the stickers, maybe? That'll be fun. Oh, I should do the neon pink for that, but let me just do a little bit of this shiny color for funsies. Dab that in. Now for the hard part. The wings. You too. Oh, and I could do like a little white around it to make it look like a bubble. Oh man, ideas are flowing, my dudes. Sorry, you're not my dudes. I also thought of a um, what I could call you guys once, cause I go, I hit 2000, I, not 2000. Whoa, getting ambitious. I hit 200 subscribers. Oh, thank you guys so much. I was so excited when I saw. It. I was like, ah. I was gonna wait to announce it too, cause like you know sometimes subscribers can fluctuate. So um, I waited till I hit 202. So, two people don't subscribe. I still got two hundred. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much. But I was thinking about what I could call you guys once, like, the uh, fandom group subscriber base got bigger. And I was thinking the bugaboos. Isn't that cute? I am a bugaboo. You're a bugaboo. <laughs> okay. Focus. Sorry. So, yeah, this is a Valentine's look. If you couldn't tell, because it's posted by Valentine's Day, the heart's pink. Hold on. Then I'm just gonna brush that out a little bit so it looks kind of feathery. I messed up a little bit, but it's okay. It's all part of the process. What was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, so this is a Valentine's look, obviously. And, um, I've never had a Valentine. But it's okay. Valentine's Day seems very stressful. Like, that's a lot of stress. And you're adding on to it with your makeup. And with presents and cards, oh my god. But, I can see the appeal. I, I, I understand, but like... Jeez. What do wings look like? I mean, mm, those look a little thick. What I'm doing is just like line and then feather it out and like pat it down with this little tiny brush. Like half the size of my pinky. Okay. Let's do a little tiny feather. Okay. Oh, I didn't even bronze. Let me do that real fast because my forehead looking a little pale. Using the uh, Fenty Beauty Island Tings. Just gonna ignore the blush area, like go a little bit under it, just so it blends out into the foundation a little more. No on the nose. Okay. Sorry. I have stopped contouring like all together after that one video I had where I had like a blatant line. That was so embarrassing. Cause I didn't even notice it until editing and I was like, oh my God. You know what this eyeliner kind of reminds me of? 
white out. Like the consistency and the way it dries down. Like, I'm sure there are better products out there for white eyeliner, but this was only $7, no, it was $10. I kind of hate the big wing part. Like that kind of looks like crud. But the little wing part looks kind of cute. Kind of cute though. I feel like I should make this thicker. And I should do a little bit more under the eye. Mm. Yes, that's what it was missing. Should I make it thicker? No, give it a break. Okay, that's one eye. And it's just like the lines and then the buff it out a little bit at the end to make it a little more feathery. Okay, other eye now, BRB. I didn't cover it all the way, BRB. Hi, welcome back, both eyes are done. This eye's kind of cruddy. This eye's a lot better in comparison, I think. But like from far away, it looks, whoa. You have wings on your eyes. Up close, it looks a little sketchy. But you know, we're not professional makeup artists. No biggie. So now I'm gonna go with my How Many Carrots from Fenty Beauty. I am a Fenty Beauty fanatic. And this is like a little diamondy highlighter. I got it for Christmas, it's gorgeous. And I'm just gonna dust that on. Isn't it gorgeous glow? Oh, I love it. Okay, gonna fluff up my eyebrows with my Make Me Brow by Essence. And a brownie brown, I think, whatever. Brownie brows. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of hard to move in. It's like drying stiffly. I sprayed down too, so maybe that's part of it. And I just want these to be super bushy because, you know, we're Cupid. Cupid don't care about her brows, his brows. They do their own thing. All we care about is making everyone fall in love, yo. That dry down a little bit and then I'll put some more glitter on the eyebrows. So now I'm going to go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I used to hate this mascara, but now I'm starting to like it again. I don't know why. I don't know if anything changed or what. If it's just like more dried down now because I've had it for a while. But I'm just going to... Brush that on and make sure you get the tops because they have all the white. Oh my god, I got it on my eyelid. Oh well. Wow, my mascara, my eyelashes are screaming because it has the white stuff on it and they just do not want to move. So I have my Lancome. Vin beige vintage it's like the little shaker stuff i love the applicator on this i'm gonna put some glass on huda huda beauty in the shade snobby it's a cute little strobe pink i've never worn this so Maybe a new favorite. I look very glowy. Gonna go in with my Ardell Studio FX. I don't know. And ta da! Here's the final look. This eyelash, or one of these eyelashes, make, is making this eye look lopsided. I don't think it's lopsided naturally, so I hope not at least. But. That, I think it's also part of the like white eyeliner that's showing the gaps between my eyelashes because yo It's hard to do eyelashes and I decided to take the uh, stickers off to show more of the freckly look and I really like how it turned out It's very cute very like charactery and I just put my hair up in a little half pony half up half half up half up half down to show my face so yes that's the final look thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe follow me on instagram either my acting account or my youtube account both will be linked down below um follow me on tiktok follow me on twitter 
do all the fun stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week or the week after. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's, whether you have a Valentine or not. Okay, love you. Oh, I had lipstick on. 